As always, thanks for tuning in. So what I want to show you today is an art pack for BitPixel users running on an At Games Legend, specifically running CoinOps X. So for a while, for Pixelcade users, I've had an optional LED art pack that you could run uh, that would provide additional animated marquees for people that are running Pixelcade on different front ends like Hyperspin, Big Box, RetroPie, etc. But there was no way to get those same animated marquees running on your At Games Legends. So got a few asks for that. So here you go, that's available now. Let me show you how that works. So let's just browse to a couple here. So here's a few of my favorites. Here's Qbert. Now the other thing, sometimes you'll see this one-time decoding. So what that is, is the first time you select an animated marquee, it has to do this internal thing where it decodes it. So you'll see that, that will only happen the first time that you pick that particular marquee. And another little kind of quirk is, if you pick a marquee that should be animated and it doesn't initially show up as animated, it's probably doing that one-time decoding in the background. So give it a minute, come back to it, and then eventually you'll see it. So it's also really cool is just to let your legends run in attract mode and just let it sit idle and the marquees will automatically change. And you'll notice that there's a lot of great artwork here for ones that aren't animated, that are just stills like these. Um, I did a lot of these myself. I also wanna give a big shout out to James T who did a bunch of these as well. James did some amazing work. So if you see him online, uh, please thank him, James T. Awesome work on the artwork. So go ahead and unmount from flash drive X and then just pop out your USB thumb drive. And then next, just plug that USB drive into any Windows PC you have lying around. So go over to pixelcate.org. Go to download. Click on LED art pack for AtGames CoinOps X. 
that'll take you here. Uh, this is a paid art pack, so go ahead and purchase it from here. That will give you a serial code. So I'm gonna skip that step right now and go straight to the download. Now, uh, so go ahead and download the installer. You can install this on your existing CoinOps X flash drive. That's probably the easiest way to go because then you don't have to have a separate flash drive. Just for the purposes of this, I'm going to install it on a separate flash drive. Uh, but again, you could very easily install this on the same flash drive as your CoinOps X. So go ahead and let this download. While that's downloading, you can see here a listing of all the games that have animated marquees. So what this pack does is it just adds a bunch of animated marquees to your CoinOps X experience. So there's a little over 300 games that are covered here. And you'll notice that some of them say triple, some of them say single. And what that means is the one that, say, that says triple is that particular game has three different animated marquees and then the system will randomly pick one of them when you select it. When you go away and come back to the game, then it'll pick a different one, again, randomly. If it's a single, it just means that that game has just one single animated marquee. So let's go ahead and run the installer. All right, so then go ahead and put in your serial number. And when you do the purchase, you'll get that uh, on an email as well as a screen that comes up right away after you purchase. You can read the instructions here, but basically it's just telling you that you need to have a USB drive that has at least two gigabytes free and make sure you install this. And this is very important at the root. So I'm going to go to my USB drive and I'm not going to click any subfolders. I'm just going to hit the root just like that. Yeah, we'll just let this install run. It'll take a little bit because there's quite a few uh, files that this is downloading. So I'll just let this run. All right, so now we can see the installation is done. And let's just do a quick double check to make sure everything is good before we put this into our ALU. So go to your flash drive. You're gonna see a new folder called PCX. Again, this must be off the root. Just double click that and you'll see a bunch of stuff in here. And so here's all the specific files for CoinOpsX, for example. So you can see there's quite a few in here. So I'll just show you a couple other tips here if you wanna further customize. So if you wanna do that, go back into your PCX folder, go into CoinOps, and let me just kind of show you the convention here. So let's pick one. Let's go to Alien Storm. So this convention, if it's a triple, meaning it has three different unique animated marquees, it's gonna have the name of the game, Alien Storm, and then underscore 01, 02, 03. So that means this one's a triple. It will play that animated marquee. It'll pick one at random, and then it'll land on the still image marquee that you see there. Now, let's say you have, for example, one that only has a single. So let's find an example of a single here. Okay, here we go, Asteroids. So Asteroids, if you pick Asteroids, it's gonna play this animation and then it's gonna land on the marquee. Let's say, for example, that you really like that animation and you don't wanna see the still image marquee, then you would just simply go here and delete this ping. I'm not gonna do it because I personally like it. That's why I coded it that way to play the animation and then land on the marquee, but some people really like those animated marquees and they don't want to see the still image. So just hit hit delete there, delete the ping. And then if you just have a GIF, it will just simply play that GIF indefinitely until you select another game. So that's one little thing you can do to tweak it. Um, like I said, these triples, if you want to customize those, maybe you don't like one of them, you can delete one add your own and just make sure you give it that same file name. It'll play that one instead next time. Uh, so those are just a few things you can do to customize. Also, if you have a game that doesn't have an animated marquee, of course you can add your own. Just follow that naming convention. So that is good. So go ahead and eject this and let's go back to your ALU. Now take that thumb drive and pop that back into your ALU. And I actually have my ALU set up to boot into BitPixel 
automatically when I reboot. So I'm just gonna do a reboot at this point. All right, so let's head over to CoinOps X and check out some of those new animated marquees. Okay, pick your CoinOps X tile. Let me just browse through some of my favorite ones here.